If you've watched my last few videos on this channel, you'll notice that I've made some upgrades to my man cave of sorts. I've added a really neat Japanese Pachislo slot machine, and I've been on the hunt for some sort of arcade console to add to my office. This portable arcade machine from Y Gaming has everything that a beginner would need, including a 14 inch foldable screen, battery power for on the go gaming, and over 20,000 built in emulators right in the box. Today, we're gonna take a look at it. What's up everybody, welcome to the Phage Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan and if you are new here, thank you for joining me. If you're a subscriber, welcome back as always. Like I mentioned in the intro, this Pandora's box all-in-one portable arcade console from Y Gaming is a really cool piece of kit. For a few hundred dollars, you get a ton, over 20,000 emulators, eight buttons, a joystick, a foldable screen, battery power, you could take this on the go or set it up permanently in your home office or man cave or game room like I'm going to do and there's a lot to love about this system I'm gonna do a full unboxing in just a second I'm gonna go over all the pros and cons and my experience using this over the past few weeks so that you can know whether or not it's worth picking one up for yourself before we dive into the unboxing make sure that you like the video leave a comment subscribe and ring the notification bell all of those help me to keep bringing you content each and every week and I'm gonna have more arcade videos coming in the future but enough about that let's take a look at this Y gaming portable arcade system now, you can see that I've got the product in front of me right here. It's already been unboxed, but I will overlay that unboxing video on top of this one as I talk about what comes in the package. They actually include quite a few little accessories and some things that I'm really happy to see. First and foremost is this kind of felt travel carrying case bag with a zipper on top. Did not expect this in the package. Love that they included this with this being battery powered and being able to, you know, take this on trips, vacations to other people's houses. It's nice that you've got a way to easily carry it. Now, inside the Bag, I have the other accessories that come in the box besides the console of course you are going to get your user manual it's very bare bones it doesn't really explain a lot but hopefully this video will be helpful in getting things set up with the console they also include an HDMI cable because as you'll see in just a moment this has video output capabilities so you can play this on a larger screen than the 14 inch if you'd like they do include a charging cable uh, just your standard you know very cheap wall wart AC to DC converter to charge the battery or power the device. There is also this kind of mock PS2 looking USB controller to add a second player. And then we've got a couple of spare feet for the bottom of the package, some spare buttons uh, to replace these if any of them were to go out. And then we also have a screwdriver and a little wrench to tighten the joystick onto the unit. That's everything that comes in the package. Now, let's talk a little bit about build quality and usage. When it comes to the build quality of this unit, I was super impressed to see that we've got an all metal design here. It is pretty heavy, but it seems fairly robust, like it can stand up to being taken on the road. Even if you just have it in your house, you got kids beating up on it, the metal finish should hold up. You can see that we've got this generic faceplate on top, which I love to see. I like that it's not themed to a specific game and we've got our eight backlit buttons as well This joystick is an eight-way joystick uh, It works great for a lot of the fighting games and the more modern games with the older uh, You know 2d uh, 80s arcade games. I wish it was like a four directional stick um, This is all new to me, but I'm learning about this, but it's definitely playable with those games We have our power button right here and then the start coin and pause buttons now on the whole, the build quality, like I mentioned, is great. You can really only see small things that would indicate that this is maybe a more affordable unit. The power button, for example, is slightly uh, off center. It's a little bit tilted, not the end of the world because it functions just fine. Now, if I close this case just a bit and show you the backside of the unit, you've got all of your ins and outs. Let me get that centered right there. We do have a couple of USB, um, inputs and outputs so that you can use this either as a controller for your PC or for a console or to input the controller for the second player. We have our button to enter the settings mode, a volume knob, a little SD card, a micro SD card with all of the emulators on it. Most people recommend to back this up in case it were to fail. 
we have our VGA and our HDMI output to send video to another screen and our power input to charge the device. Um, on the front of the unit, we have our battery indicator here as well as a lock. So when you close this briefcase, you can lock it. The default code is 000. I have no reason to lock it, so I've just kept it as that, but it is changeable if you want to. This little uh, slot right here, this little hole, you can actually unscrew the joystick so that you can close the screen. You screw it in right there for transport. I would not recommend carrying it by that, but you can store the joystick there when you're not using it. Now, having talked about the battery indicator, I have been using this unplugged and plugged in for a while over the past few weeks. I found that I can get at least two hours or so before I drop to half battery life. I've never ran it all the way to empty. It's probably not good for the battery, but I would say safe to say two to three hours probably without getting to the very bottom end of the battery range. Before I talk about the games themselves, I did just want to mention the included uh, controller right here that they add. This is extremely lightweight, very cheap plastic, doesn't weigh that much. It works. All of the buttons function fine. You can game on it. Uh, how long this will last, I don't know, but it's probably easy to find very affordable replacements all over Amazon or wherever else you can buy those USB controllers. Now, let's talk about the game system itself. First and foremost, I'm a very casual arcade enthusiast. This is all new to me. I don't have high expectations. I haven't tried the best of the best joysticks and buttons and all the different Pandora's box models. So I'm coming to you from like the average consumer standpoint. Just want something that maybe has, you know, a few dozen playable games that work well, the sounds are okay, and the buttons are not complete trash. The system on here is one that I hadn't really researched it was the Pandora Game Box NX. It has over 20,000 games, but if you've done any research on Pandora's Box, you know that many of these are hacks or duplicates or from other countries, different languages. And so, you know, really, you're going to maybe find a few hundred titles, maybe a thousand titles that are unique and appeal to you. I really didn't buy this because I wanted 20,000 games. I really just want most of the basics. I love your Pac-Man, your Donkey Kongs, your Galaga, your Dig Dug, and then maybe, you know, getting into a few of the fighting games or the side scrollers, the Mario Bros and stuff like that. All of those are here. Finding the best version takes a little bit of work. For example, Pac-Man, the version that comes on here is very stretched. It does not fit the right aspect ratio, but if you search Puck-Man, you will find a correct aspect ratio. There are also multiple Puckmans. One of them is double speed, one of them is normal speed. So you've got to do a little bit of digging, but you can find great representations of all the games. The operating system is fast. Searching games is very easy. One pro tip is if you need to get back up to this uh, games recent or search category up at the top, you can click the start button and that will jump your cursor up to there. Uh, you can search through it. For the most part, uh, not really any lags or issues at all. The more advanced 3D console games are a little more inconsistent. For example, the N64 Mario Kart on here runs very well. The N64, the other N64 games are a little more laggy. Some even freeze or shut off completely. Uh, I tried to play some of the newer fighting games and I'm not a fighting games master by any means, but they did have some issues where they were freezing up, lagging, etc. Overall, as a casual player, there's more than enough here to keep me busy. All of the classics are on there. You may just have to do a little bit of digging. One downside is compared to some of the newer Pandora's boxes, there's no favorite list that I can see on here. You just have to kind of keep your favorites in your recent, but it's not too hard to search for them. It only takes a few seconds, but just one of those ease of use things that would be nice to have. Overall, I think this is a great option for the first time arcade console buyer, and it's made getting started playing games a whole lot easier. I have another system that I'm going to review soon that you have to actually plug into your TV with an HDMI cord. Uh, you know, it's just a standalone console. This is so much easier to just open the screen, power on and go. Sometimes it's it's a hassle to get it plugged in and reach behind my TV and get the cable in there. So to have just a ready to go, battery powered, you know, you just keep it charged and opened up whenever you want, very, very convenient. If you're someone who's really into Raspberry Pi or emulators and you know a lot about uh, arcade game emulation, this is probably not up to snuff for you. But if you're just like me, you wanna get some arcade games in your game room or your man cave or just have something you can mess around on and practice, you know, reliving a little bit of that nostalgia. I'm not old enough to have lived in 80s, but my parents loved the games and I played them a lot growing up. This is a super cool option. So if you want to grab one of these, I'll include a link down in the description. You can go check it out there. Buy if you want to. It supports the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. If you're not picking up one of these today, make sure you subscribe. I've got another arcade console review coming in the future. And of course, new content each and every week almost. I really appreciate you watching today. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time.